All right, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna focus on the Facebook reporting, ad reporting tool, and some of the functionality that you get with this tool. So in the first video, I kinda of just wanna introduce us to it and show you how to get there. And then in the second video, we will start talking a little bit more about specific metrics that you need to pay attention to. So let's dive in. Uh, again, we're gonna come up here to the main navigation we're gonna to go to all tools and then under ads reporting. And if you have some saved reports, they'll be here and I'll show you how to go ahead and create your first report. So you click this create report button, which is pretty obvious. And then you can start coming in here and toggling on what you wanna see. Most of the time, um, uh, if you want a high level view, you could start, you could put, pick the campaign and that's gonna show you like how much you spent and your conversions. If you want a more drilled down view, you can do it at the ad level, but you're going to get, depending on how many ads you're running at any given time, you're gonna get a lot of data. So I like to keep it at the campaign level. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to set some filters up here with what you wanna see. So maybe, let's, like, let's look at one specific uh, campaign just so we can uh, speak directly to it and be a little bit more specific. So I'll just pick this one here. All right. So now that we have a campaign selected, maybe you're only gonna be having one, maybe two campaigns running at a time, so this isn't a concern. You can adjust the dates here, uh, so what the view window, when you wanna see some of the results. And then the cool thing with this ads reporting is the columns and the breakdown. So the columns are obviously these columns, which Facebook gives you a lot of pre-built kind of options. But well, really the bread and butter is down here in this customized columns and you can just get a list of everything that Facebook gives you access to and check them off. So I'm not going to go through all these because that would just be tedious, but I'll just go ahead and toggle on some of my favorites. So for instance, click through rate. So all means um, any of the ways that somebody can click on an ad. So it could be the call to action button, the ad itself, um, something like that. Then let's see, I also like, sometimes I like to look at post comments to see which uh, ads are getting the most engagement. And you know, with real estate investor ads, a majority of those are gonna be negative. Don't shy away from them, like address all of them because these are people who have obviously, you know, maybe had a negative experience with another uh, company. So it's a way for your company to kind of stand out because you have to realize other people are gonna see those comments. So use it as a positive and spin it. Um, let's see, there's a couple other ones. If you have videos, these are really cool. You can see who watches 95% of your videos, 75%, etc. Um, you can look at unique clicks. Unique. So if you're showing your ad to people more than once, you, you can just see how many people, like, you know, it just will count at once depending on what they click on. And then the conversion stuff is pretty interesting. So if you have more than one conversion running, you can click that on. So I'm, I use leads a lot and completed registrations um, in, my web, uh, in my website funnel because on the thank you page, the completed registration pixel fires and on the step two, the leads pixel fires. So I know who went through both of them. If you're a Carrot member, you'll have those pages built out. And if you're a Carrot member and you're trying to set up your Pixel, uh, go back to module two and watch those videos, especially close. And I'll show you how to set that up the way I do it. Anyway, so you can go through here and you can just see, you know, there's a lot of different options that you can choose from here. Um, these all pertain to apps, so not, not super valuable, right? Um, you can do some of this when it was created and all that stuff, right? So I'll go ahead and hit apply, and then you'll just see we have a lot more columns here. So let's take a look at some of this new data we got. Um, I got 67 link clicks on this ad. This was website purchases, so one person signed up um, with this ad. One, almost a 2% click-through rate, which is pretty darn good. No post comments, so nobody commented on the ad. This was the click-through rate of the ad, the unique click-through rate, so this is probably more accurate, more close to what we actually got. Um, and then the completed registration. So six people 
uh, also did some other had another pixel fire so maybe they went to another page and completed some action to get this because we can look here and see that our add to wish list was the pixel that was fired on this one so this is kind of cool you can hover and it'll show you all the conversions that this campaign all the pixels that this campaign has fired okay so now you have a couple options here you can actually drill down to the ad level of this and like look at which ads are producing if you have multiple ads running in an ad set um, you can click save changes and then name this weekly conversion report or whatever you want and you can schedule an email so you could have this go to you every Sunday um, so you can check in on it I'm not going to do that but you can click save you can also export it which uh, you can do like a Excel file if you rather just kind of keep track of things that way or you have a VA helping you you can have them export it into a, an Excel file for you to check on it weekly or whatever but when you save the report like I did and then you come back the next time you'll see that you have it here and you can quickly just click into it and you know toggle it or whatever all right so I wanted to add on to this video a little bit because there is another way that Facebook gives us some uh, reporting data within the ad set level of a campaign that I think is worth mentioning. So let's uh, say we're going to click in on this campaign and when you are you know in here used to editing some of the options you'll see these little icons here. This one's kind of cool it shows you the uh, changes that you've made so if you have you know multiple people on your team you can kind of see who's publishing what and what they're changing. But what's more interesting is the little bit of information we get here. So it'll kind of show you, you know, the people reached, the amount spent, um, you know, cost per result, the result rate, which I'm guessing is close to your ROI, perhaps. I'd have to do the math. Your demographics. So this is showing who the ad was shown to in green and then who was actually opting in. So what's interesting is, you know, um, older women for sure were responding to this ad more than men or any other age group so you can actually come into the ad set level and you know I could run this ad again for five bucks and only target looks like I try to do that women who are you know 47 to 65 so it might bring my reach down but it's more targeted um, you can toggle these to see who got the most of your sorry that's bad grammar who spent the most of your budget um, and you will see that for this campaign it was pretty much 45 to 65 you can also see um, yeah I guess that's it and then placement so this will show you where on Facebook your money was being spent uh, where in the platform that they're spending your money so this I only had it running on Facebook um, but you might see you know audience network if you want that on Instagram and you can see you know where the most amount of your leads are coming from and then optimize for that platform and then you can see you know desktop and mobile only so looks like all four of my leads came from mobile which doesn't surprise me at all um, so to further optimize this I would say you know only show it to women 45 and older on Facebook mobile right so that's a good way to kind of get in here and start optimizing. And I'll talk a little bit more about some of my favorite metrics to track. Kind of gave it away and, and shared a few of them there. But in the next video, I will show you how I would optimize based on some key metrics.